Hi, Ron. Thank you for. Oh. Wait, 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 you have wait, to wait, wait a minute okay. because uh, the door, the, the door will ring. <laughs> Thank you, Ron, for taking time uh, to answer my questions. Um, we start yes. at the beginning of your career. How did you get into darts? And is there a player who inspired you to play darts or um, go professional? Uh, yeah, obviously, uh, Raymond van Barneveld inspired me big time uh, when he started to play on, on television. Then I always watched him and then uh, Yeah, and one day I quit. Um, uh, I, normally I was practicing when the leg side was on, and then in one year I kept practicing all year long, and then uh, yeah, I liked it, so I keep continue playing. Okay. Um, so, so next question. Um, if you don't mind me asking, you lost a lot of weight. Have you noticed an impact to your game? Um, yeah, obviously it helps when you get when you stay fit, and um, I realized that, so I make the change, and uh, for, uh, yeah, I feel better now during long matches or long days of darts, and uh, I'm I'm still sharp at the end of the day. That's that's what's all about. Good. Um, who's your best buddy on tour? Uh, best buddy on tour. Well. Yeah, obviously you're there for yourself, but we only travel with, with the Dutch people, of course. Uh, Dirk van Duivenboda, I traveled with him uh, for the last few years. And also the newcomers, Martijn and Derek, uh, I really like to hang out with them. And also Jeffrey De Swan and his manager. So, uh, yeah, you've got a few few dark players uh, I get along with, so that's, that's great. Also Jermaine uh, as well, Niels Sonneveld. So, yeah, there are a few. So you stay with your um, Dutch mates, yeah? Most yeah, of the time. Yeah, yeah. Normally, most of the time, we play <laughs> with the Dutch people, yeah. And Belgium, of course, if they behave. Ah, <laughs> okay. Um, so now there's a woman at the PDC Pro Tour. Have you noticed any change in behavior or processes since Lisa Ashton has, uh, started playing the tour? And what is your opinion about women in darts, especially in the PDC? Um, yeah, obviously, uh, we all know this, uh, Lisha got the two card, uh, which is great for her. And in the beginning, obviously, uh, after the World Championship, you, you got fell in with it very well. So we were a little bit like, all right, there's a woman now, but only in the beginning. Now it's just normal. It's just an, another opponent. And uh, yeah, you have to beat. So if you have to be careful. But uh, uh, yeah, I think it's a, a normal thing now. And, and they're doing quite well. And maybe in the future, we're going to see a bit more of the, of the ladies' darts. Another main topic in 2020, um, because of the corona pandemic, a lot of people are struggling these times, um, especially entertainment and uh, athletes. Uh, um, how much did you affect, uh, did it affect you like this? Well, in the beginning, because uh, they scratched the tournament, so uh, we had to wait. There wasn't anything noticed of when we can start play again. So it was very hard for us to uh, to adapt on that. So uh, we have to wait a few weeks, uh, so less darts, and you don't know for which date you have to practice. And uh, yeah, that cut me a bit. But uh, um, I'm very happy that in the end of the season, uh, I realized that it doesn't matter if there are tournaments or not. You have to keep practicing, keep playing matches, keep playing tournaments, which is not allowed now. But a few weeks back, there, there were more tournaments. And uh, so to keep you uh, fit and to keep you ready for the matches. Uh, so in the end of the season, I was lucky to had a good run and uh, so qualified for the world. So I'm very happy with that. Yeah, congratulations for this again. <laughs> um, Thank you. Yeah, let us talk about the worlds. How do you prepare? And um, do you have a specific ritual before you go on stage? Uh, I don't have 
not really original, just a, the same routine. Do your practice before, so the time schedules and things are quite the same. Um, but nothing anything else, you have to be prepared, and that's that's what it's all about. So uh, it's a good thing. What was the first question you, you asked? Uh, the second question was, um, do you have a specific ritual before you go on stage? Like hearing uh, music well, no, or something? Yeah, obviously we listen to music to uh, keep calm and things like that, but uh, nothing more, just practice and make sure you're ready. No dancing or something? <laughs> no, not for me. I leave that to other people. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, what are your goals for the worlds? Sorry? What are you, your goals for the worlds? Um, yeah, well, just if I play good, I know I can win games. If I play really good, I know I can go far. So uh, just uh, the consistency, that's the main thing of the players, not in the top 10 of the world, of top eight in the world. The consistency has to be there, has to be more often, better than, uh, yeah, better than what you normally do. Yeah. So uh, if you can reach that, yeah, then, then you can go very, very deep in the tournament. But Obviously, I take it match by match and uh, first the first match and after that, I'll see what happens. Okay. Um, so there are 11 Dutch starters this year when I miss, uh, when I didn't miscount. Um, so Netherlands is a very small country compared to Germany, for example. What is the secret? You have so many success successful dart players. Um, well, to be honest, uh, if you compare it with Germany, I mean, um, we know the sport by Raymond, I think, um, in the yeah, late 90s, so 98, 99. Um, so if people see this and they and the train and they get addicted to the darts, and now it's also become big in Germany. So I expect in the next 10 years, they're going to be uh, as, as much German players as Dutch players, I think, because now uh, you have to invest in yourself. So you cannot say if you like the sport, then you will be in the top uh, 32 in one year. So first you have to develop and you have to train. And then uh, after five or 10 years, you get uh, some big players in. So uh, yeah, that's what happened in, in Holland, I guess. Uh, so in the beginning, uh, 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 late 90s, they start to practice, they like the game. So now it's 2020. So uh, yeah, we're 20 years uh, further. And yeah, now the people who were then very, very small and young. They're uh, big players now. Mm -hmm. um, so a question my German audience is may interested in. Um, how do you rate the chances for the German players? Max Hopp is playing Gordon Mathers. And uh, Nico Kurz is playing Andy Hamilton. And uh, maybe in the second round, there could be a German match. Gabriel Clemens against Nico Kurz or Andy Hamilton. What do you think? Yeah, I, I have uh, big expe expectations for Nico Kurz. I mean, I've seen him play a few times. And I think he's one of the biggest talents that Germany uh, has at the moment. He's a very good player. And uh, yeah, I, I expect him to uh, to do well this uh, this World Championship. Yeah, definitely. And uh, also, of course, uh, the big two stars of Germany at the moment, uh, Max and uh, Gabriel, they're doing a fantastic job for Germany, I think. And uh, yeah, I think that they are going to do well uh, this World Championship. Thank you. Um, and the last question. Who do you think de deserves the World Championship trophy the most this year? <laughs> yes. yeah me of course <laughs> yeah i think um if you, if you look at the, at the at all the players um there are it can be a few uh, surprises we don't know um but i think michael will be very dangerous this year and also outsider outsiders like uh damon hetta yes and um yeah and, and yeah you never know what what happens which which starts is going to be the right use uh, How's the form of uh, of Gary Anderson? Uh, is he recovered well? 
you never know. So uh, obviously, Gervin Price always in big form this year. So uh, it's going to be a very interesting World Championship, I think. Yeah, I think too. Thank you, Ron, for taking time. And um, yeah, I hope I will bring it online next few days and then send you the link, of course. Very cool, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you, have a great evening. Okay, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.